Hello, a warm welcome to all from SGT University. I'm Dr. Abhinav Tiwari from the Department of Psychiatry and today we are going to talk about sleep disorders. Nearly one third of human life is spent in sleep. Electroencephalogram shows features that can be divided into two phases, the de-sleep, the desynchronized or dreaming sleep, also called as rapid eye movement sleep, the S-sleep or the synchronized sleep, non-rapid eye movement or NREM sleep. There are four stages of NREM sleep. As the person falls asleep, the person passes through each of these stages. This picture here shows the cyclical nature of sleep. From being drowsy, the person first goes to NREM1 sleep, from here to stage 2. Stage 1 and 2 are light stages of sleep from which we can easily be roused. From here to stage 3 and 4. Stage 3 and 4 are deeper stages of sleep and some may feel disoriented if woken up from this sleep. From here to rapid eye movement sleep and this goes on for 4 to 5 times through the night. This picture shows the EEG recording of an awake state and the sleeping stage. In the awake stage, there are low voltage, high frequency beta waves, which are more than 12 Hertz in frequency. The drowsy state, the alpha waves become prominent. These are 8 to 12 Hertz. Stage 1 sleep, the theta waves become prominent. Stage 2 shows sleep spindles and mixed EEG activity. Stage 3 and 4, these are slow wave sleep. The waves become progressively more in amplitude and lesser in frequency. These are delta waves. And then the REM sleep. This is similar to an awake state that is low voltage, high frequency waves. Therefore, REM sleep is also known as paradoxical sleep. Characteristics of REM and non-REM sleep. Eye movement is rapid in REM sleep and it is slow in non-REM sleep. Muscle twitches are seen in REM sleep, whereas there is muscle relaxation in the non-REM sleep. Vital signs like heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature is fluctuating in REM sleep and it is stable in non-REM sleep. Muscle tone is decreased in REM sleep and in non-REM sleep, some tone is seen in postural muscles. Penile erection is common, whereas it is rare in non-REM sleep. Dreams are common in REM sleep and they are vivid. In non-REM sleep, the dreams are rare, they are lucid and ununderstandable most of the times. Adult sleep comprises of 20 to 25% of REM sleep and 75 to 80% of non-REM sleep. And the infants, REM sleep comprises of 50% and non-REM sleep 50%. To summarize the sleep cycle, in an 8 hour sleep, 6 to 6 and a half hours are spent in NREM sleep, 1 to 2 hours in REM sleep. Out of the 6 and a half hours of non-REM sleep, about 70 to 80 minutes are spent in stage 4. Maximum stage 4 sleeps occurs in the first one third of the night and in the later part, REM sleep follows stage 3 NREM sleep directly bypassing the stage 4. REM sleep occurs maximally in the last one third of the night and occurs regularly every 90 to 100 minutes. There are 4 to 5 REM periods in the whole sleep cycle. Functions of sleep. It is still unclear what the real function of sleep is, but through studies we now know that people sleeping 7 to 8 hours in a day have lower rates of illness. There is reduction of metabolic rate during sleep by about 5 to 25 percent. Therefore, conservation of energy is an important function. It also serves as a restorative function for the body, that is the non-REM sleep. And the REM sleep helps in restoring the memories and the cognitive functions of the brain. Sleep deprivation. Initially, up to four days, of sleep deprivation in any normal person can lead to decrease in attention span, drowsiness, distractibility, irritability, 
decreased initiative to perform and headaches. Later on, with more than 5 days of sleep deprivation and in people who are predisposed to mental illness, psychotic symptoms like delusions, hallucinations, illusions may appear. Delirium can also appear with more than 5 to 6 days of sleep deprivation. So how do we classify sleep disorders? Disorders of sleep Categorized broadly into disomnias and parasomnias. Disomnias are disturbances in quality of the sleep and they are categorized into insomnias, hypersomnias and disorders of sleep-wake cycle. Parasomnias on the other hand are abnormal behaviors during the sleep. They are categorized into stage 4 sleep disorders and other sleep disorders. Insomnia. These are disorders of initiation and or maintenance of sleep. They are very common and nearly 15 to 30 percent people complain about a period of insomnia every year. For diagnosis, the sleep disturbance should occur three times a week for at least one month and should cause either marked distress or impairment in socio-occupational functioning. The causes of insomnias, medical illnesses like severe pain, respiratory ailments causing breathlessness at night, heart ailments, alcohol and drug abuse, so withdrawal of alcohol, or excessive consumption of stimulant medications like cocaine, amphetamines, excessive use of caffeine can lead to insomnias. Medications like anticholinergic, steroids, theophyly, psychiatric disorders like mania, depression, anxiety disorders and psychotic illnesses can lead to insomnias and then there are idiopathic causes of insomnias. Treatment Thorough medical and psychiatric assessment and treatment Treating the cause leads to alleviation of insomnia Polysomnography or sleep test This is a test that is done throughout the night and we record the quality of sleep in this This is done through electroencephalogram, electrooculogram and electromyogram Relaxation techniques during sleep time and teaching sleep hygiene Psychotherapy if needed if the cause of insomnia is stress and benzodiazepine medications. These are sedative and hypnotic medications that can be given to alleviate insomnias. Hypersomnias. These are disorders of excessive sleep present in 1-2% to 2 of the population. For diagnosis, sleep disturbance should be present for one month daily and should cause either marked distress or impairment in socio-occupational functioning. Causes of hypersomnia Medical illness Narcolepsy comprises of 25% cases of hypersomnia. Sleep insomnia These comprise of 50% of the cases Klein-Levin syndrome Encephalitis Cerebral tumors of midbrain and hypothalamic lesions then the alcohol and drug abuse, so alcohol intoxication, CNS depressant medications like benzodiazepine overdose can lead to hypersomnias, psychiatric disorders like atypical depression, complete medical and psychiatric assessment and treating the cause, polysomnography or sleep test, removal of offending medications like if there's overdose of benzodiazepine medications then reducing the dosage. Stimulant medications like amphetamines and modafinil in cases of narcolepsy. And for sleep apnea, weight reduction, avoid alcohol, continuous positive airway pressure or CPAP. What do we know about parasomnias? Parasomnias. These are dysfunctions or episodic nocturnal events occurring with sleep, during the stages of sleep or partial arousals in between the sleep categorized into non-REM sleep disorders and REM sleep disorders. An REM stage or stage 4 sleep disorders, these are sleepwalking or somnambulism, night terrors, 
sleep related inuresis or bed wetting bruxism or teeth grinding sleep talking or somniloquy treatment is benzodiazepine medications to suppress the stage 4 of nrem sleep a single dose at night time is mostly suffice rem sleep disorders nightmares or dream anxiety disorders in this fearful dreams are seen and the patient wakes up from sleep frightened and remembers it vividly this is what differentiates it from night terrors that are seen in the stage 4 non rem sleep disorders in which the patient also wakes up with a panic attack and then goes back to sleep again not remembering the event other sleep disorders like nocturnal angina nocturnal head banging and familial sleep paralysis there is no specific treatment bedtime benzodiazepine medications are mostly useful So today we learned about sleep and its disorders. In the next lecture we are going to cover schizophrenia. Till that time, keep learning, keep growing. See you next time. Thank you.